Hello, 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 everyone. Hey, welcome back to my channel. All right, let's see what we got for you today. We have a gorgeous looking car. It's a beauty. It's not only gorgeous, it's a true classic car. And we are almost worldwide very well known. We have a lot of knowledge of this car. We either see them in person or we know the history behind these cars or we see the newer models, but we know very well when we talk about the Volkswagen Golf. And when I keep saying we know very well, these are very iconic. The Volkswagen Golf with the Volkswagen Beetle, I think are the most remembered cars out there for Volkswagen. And they were very popular back in the days and they're still very popular nowadays. Now, these are true, true good looking cars. This is a first generation, the one that started all. This is a 143 scale Volkswagen Golf. Now this model Volkswagen Golf has been running for, this actually ran from 1974 until 1982. So it's quite good, you know, I gotta say it. It's a nine year run. They had, um, in parts of the world, this was called the first generation. They called they called them Volkswagen Rabbit in United States and Canada. They called them the Volkswagen Rabbit, and in Mexico, they called them the Volkswagen Caribe. Caribe. So you got most of got different names, but it's the same exact model, it's just different name. But we all remember the model, no matter what they call them. When we look at it. Is up, remember right away. And this, you know, it's just, it's just, it was just a hatchback, but it really hit home. It really, it was a real popular car for Volkswagen. I guess it was quite reliable. You know, back in the early, se mid 70s to the early 80s, hatchbacks were in Europe especially, they were running strong. They got the Renault 5, they got the Ford Fiesta, they had um, the Fiat uh, 127, the Fiat, you know, they, they, they were really into the hatchbacks, even today's date, but back in the 70s and 80s, hatchbacks were a home run, you know, and this was, and this was actually one of the most important hatchbacks from that era. If I would not say the most, I will say one of the most. I'm not going to say one, the most because we had quite a few um, very well remembered. The Renault 5 was a very, very well remembered hatchback from that era. The Renault 5. There's a few others, but the Fiesta was very important too from the 70s and 80s. But I got to say it, this car is just beautiful i like the round headlights cute little model uh i remember the back tail lights this one has the longer ones one that goes around i remember seeing them also in a shorter version which i i i am about to get it i haven't seen it in a while in where i search for a die cast but i i seen them before and i'm gonna get it because i like that one also and i feel it's a different model even though the same model, but it's the I always like to have when it has different styles. I like to have both styles. Just you know, it's my it's my I'm an eye. In, in my mind, I know I have both of them. You know, if I cannot collect them in real life in a real size, why not just have my diecast? And these example, the guys whoever collects diecast knows that this model right here it's not easy to find. And when you find them, they're not cheap cheap to own. These light cats right here, they're not cheap, guys. It looks cheap, but they're not cheap. By the way, this is uh, Mini Champs. Mini Champs. By the way, this is a 1980. I just, looked, I just looked at the box. This is a 1980. And I could tell because of the backlight. This has the 
the little longer backlights that I mentioned before. But I like the color, guys. Isn't it a cute color? It's a color vibrant for the model. It kind of like gives a little happy touch, you know. It's not gray or it's not um a uh, black or something very common like a white. You no, know? it's a quite bright color. I like it. Really, really cute. All right, guys, I'm going to go around a few times to so have a nice look at the car, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. So do you have good memories about this car? Do you remember the Golf Volkswagen Golf? I'm talking about the first generation, the one that we're looking at right now. Not the ones that they got in the car dealership right now. You know, from back then till now, even though it's still a hatchback, it's, it's a very different hatchback nowadays. Nowadays, they made them a lot more sportier. Back then... Beyond the GTI, GTI was a sportier version. It was really a bread and butter car. You know, it was a brilliant. It was a car, nothing fashion. It was just a. Uh, it was just you know for the young kids going to college or first time drivers, or you know the mother that want to go to the supermarket every Tuesday <laughs> and Friday and make sure you got. A car that goes from A to B point. But, um, I mean, that's the main purpose was back then. But you could use it for anything. Any car that has an engine and four wheels and it runs well, you could travel whatever you want to. But that was the most common denominator of a person buying these cars. But they were such a cute car. I gotta remember. I still see them on the road, some of them. They're, they're you know... They're not popular like they used to, but you see them on car shows. You gotta go to the car show, especially if they if they cater towards the European cars. You'll definitely see a Volkswagen Rabbit in the story. All right, guys. So let me know what you guys think about this beautiful car. Please do not forget to give me that nice thumbs up, and let me know if you're enjoying this video as much as I enjoy making them. Do not forget to click and subscribe and don't forget to click the bell next to the subscribe button which will remind you when I'm posting more videos. Alright guys, so take care of yourselves more than ever as I always say and goodbye.